we use sealed source attenuation correction on all of our patients from February 1996 until March 2006 when we, after about a year and a half of dual scanning um, with the first SPEC CT, we dropped the sealed source imaging and, you know, we've not looked back. Sealed source attenuation correction in average size individuals, even up to patients of about, say, 250 pounds, to plus or minus a little bit, depending on body habitus, would work very well most of the time. But if you look at the mu maps generated from sealed source attenuation corrected studies compared to the mu maps generated from even the very low dose CT studies that we're doing now, there's no comparison. The mu maps are far superior with CT based attenuation correction, and the image quality uh, is likewise. And unlike sealed source attenuation correction, which you know, you could maybe do to patients of about 250 pounds with CT-based attenuation correction. We've done patients up to 500 pounds.